Hey man, what the fuck up, world? Real quick, real fast. Um, I want to talk about this uh, mental uh, health shit, man. It's 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 a fucked up ass goddamn trick a motherfucker is playing, man. And um, I guess I've been slowly watching this shit over years, man. Like I said, if I had to say, it started to me. It started back in the early 2000s where they wanted to diagnose every goddamn inner city black kid for having ADD, attention, hypersit, deficit disorder, all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So they put these kids on all kind of fucking medicine, melatonin, fucking just make your ass dope the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? So me, myself, having siblings, that grew up on that shit has seen the long-term effect of the shit. You know what I'm saying? And it gets worse, you know what I'm saying, when the person that off the drug. Uh, my brother, he took Ritalin. My oldest brother, he took Ritalin. And, um, shit. You know what I'm saying? Good student. You know what I'm saying? Until about 13, 14, when they tried to take him off of it, when they took him off of it, you know what I'm saying? That's when he just started acting out. You know what I'm saying? What they would call acting out. You know what I'm saying? Getting in kind of trouble and all kind of crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But really just releasing all of that built up motherfucking energy that was, you know what I'm saying? Stored away with nothing to fucking do. Keyword, energy. Stored away. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like an over fucking charged phone is liable to fucking explode. But, um... Just to get back to my point, in the early 2000s, I seen that shit coming heavy, you know what I'm saying, to the point to where my baby mama, you know what I'm saying, took my uh, kid down to my daughter to go get tested and see if she got ADHD. And at the time, like I said, it was giving out benefits as far as this shit, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of these mothers who wasn't educated at the time or wasn't paying attention what the fuck was going on, you know what I'm saying? Let their kids get on this medicine and shit. And like I say, what we 10, 13 years into the game now, as far as like this shit, those kids then became older. They have the same problems that I'm looking at with my daddy. I mean, with my uh, my older brother. You know what I'm saying? So you see this heavy ass motherfucking just addiction. I seen it on both sides too, as far as. Uh, <clears throat> How white people uh, use in the, in, in the drugs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used, uh, used to go to uh, school and see white people on codeine and all kind of pills and all kind of cough syrup and all kind of shit. So, you know what I mean? I seen different people do different type of drugs, not saying everybody on one drug, but, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, everybody saying that everybody has a mental problem, yes, you know what I'm saying? That has become a big-ass motherfucking trend. You know what I'm saying? It started with those mass fucking shootings. You know what I'm saying? Started with mass shootings. It started with motherfucking white people running around there all crazy. And then their excuse was to give them other, they, mental health. You understand? So now the shit done played in the gun laws and shit. You know what I'm saying? And the main person of topic when it comes to mental health is the fucking goddamn black man and the black child. You understand? This will have learned long-term effects. Look like to a point where a motherfucker, if your ass black, motherfucker gonna look at you up and down and judge you and see if you, you know what I'm saying? And choose not to give you a gun to defend yourself. Or they gonna make some kind of crazy ass laws to where your ass not supposed to have no gun and they gonna put you on your head for it. You understand? And it's crazy as fuck because I, I never spoke up about this shit. I just kind of just like see it. You know what I'm saying? Because we done went from the white man having a mental health issue, the white woman having a mental health issue, you know what I'm saying, to the black woman having a mental health, health issue. Now it's black men. And the shit that bugs me the fuck out is the fact that you have our own celebrities and everything else, you know what I'm saying, that's quote unquote black people that's pumping this fucking goddamn mental health agenda. Like, are y'all fucking serious? This shit is crazy and it's very detrimental. Everybody think they helping and all this other shit. Who the fuck is the who to judge what the hell is mental health? Oh, what, what, like, 
what the fuck are we talking about? You understand? What do we mean when we say mental health? You know what I'm saying? What is a healthy brain? Like, get the fuck over this shit. Y'all gotta look at the bigger fucking picture of this shit. And the only reason why I address this shit tonight because it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very much heavy. On my YouTube, on my TV, we talking about black men and black children with mental health issues and they're coming up with solutions to fix it. You know what I'm saying? They blaming the crime rate. They bringing poverty. They bringing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And the, the crazy part is motherfuckers is falling for it. Motherfuckers is all about, yeah, let's fix mental health and all this other shit. Motherfuckers who holler like that, y'all got the motherfucking mental health goddamn issue. You know what I'm saying? We talking about ADD. If that's not one of the most made up shits I ever heard, hyper attention, attention deficit disorder, how in the hell could you have too much energy? When you are fucking energy, you're a space of energy. Like, it makes no fucking sense. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't, me, myself, I don't recommend none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm so, you know what I'm saying, made a video, got me in the uproar, is because um, you still have women out here that's still giving their fucking kids melatonin and shit just so they can go to sleep. Like, the lack of fucking parenting, shout out to Tahita. You know what I'm saying? The lack of fucking parenting is fucking sad. You know what I'm saying? Because no one is trying. You're doing the same fucking shit that your parents did. And when I grew up, like I said, I always wanted to be better than my parents because that's what they always told me. Don't be like me. Be better than me. But we have these, man. This shit is sad, man. We The, the little validity that we did have, we losing it. You know what I'm saying? You got young kids don't know how to cook. A simple fucking pot of rice. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker know how to work the phones and everything else better. Everybody else is moving fucking circles around us. Talking about agriculture, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just a uh, social life in general, just a lot of different things that we are behind the ball in. But we got to be first and looking good and all the stuff that really doesn't matter. You know what I mean? That swag aspect type shit. Man, people, we are in a fucking illusion that we created for our fucking selves. You know what I'm saying? We the only ones who sit up here and and, and, and and play the dozens on ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little kid, wear a fucked up t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? He have to wear it two, three days in a row. He gonna get picked on. He got a stain on it. Anything, you gonna get picked on it like we better than somebody at that moment, you know what I'm saying? But we really looking at each other and, and, and the person, and the kid, and the kid or whoever, is the person they probably worse off anyway. That's probably why they even making fun of the person. But that's a whole nother subject. My whole thing is why we do we take that different when you can when you ha you turn around and you have a little white boy, he wear the three or the same shirt three days in a row. Nobody don't fucking say shit. You understand? Nobody say shit. What I'm basically saying is the 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 the, the looking glass as much as a motherfucker done preach about this and that and who you are and what you're supposed to be doing, like, nothing has literally fucking changed. It's like we spinning motherfucking tires in the fucking road. Nothing has literally changed. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad. It's really, really fucking sad. Because we talk a good motherfucking game, but we do not put motherfucking action to motherfucking work. I mean, like I said, you got the L Amino P Club. They done did they thing sprouted up like they got a fucking headquarters and all that shit. You understand? That's what my homeboy was talking about. Like, bro, we really like <clears throat> we really lacking. And I'm not like I said, I, this is just my opinion. I'm not saving the world at all. But I do see you know what I mean, my opinion as you can see is very fucking raw and it's not like others. Because of the simple fact, I don't see shit like others. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't see shit like others. Because it, it's just naturally fucking different to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't... Mm, a moral system, I got a moral compass in my head. And I, you just tell when shit off. You know what I mean? So I try to... Now when I look at shit, I try to look at it very slowly. 
try not to get a lot of emotion into it and try to think and try to think and um there's there's like a lot of where my fucking like inspiration for videos come from just fucking thinking just out of thin air and the energy it, it come and it you know what i'm saying just let it out flip on the phone let it out but like i said back to the subject as far as mental health I mean, I think it is a hoax or a trick, whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know what I mean? It's just so funny. Out of 400 years of this country existing, we just not talking about mental health. All the crazy ass shit this country has been known for doing. We just not talking about mental health. We making it a trend, putting it in a little package to where everyone can talk about it all nice and neat. With the click of your button, you can come. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop looking at the world like it's so motherfucking convenient. What I mean by that is, <clears throat> stop looking at TMZ like they got all the fucking answers. Stop looking at this person thinking they got all the answers. I always preach this. Be your own fucking scientist. Find out your own results because you'll be baffled a lot of your shit won't equal up to everybody else's shit you know what i mean but i'm not here to save the world of course y'all know me i just got an opinion and um like i said i'm gonna do a, a video tomorrow i'm gonna do it on the i'm gonna do it on the simple fact um i gotta hit on the fact that I'm tired of people just tying everything in the Africa. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a video on tomorrow. Like, why do we over here in America tie everything in the Africa? Who gave you that influence? Where did it come from? Where did you first fucking hear that shit? Because people hold on to that shit and have no fucking essence of Africa in them, period. Have more Native American, you know what I'm saying, essence in your ass than any fucking thing. But you keep holding on to the European way of this motherfucking shit that they built. Called the civilization or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I seen the State of the Union and it was just funny. It was it was funny. It was hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't look at it like who's side or this side or nothing. I'm looking at this shit like they playing a big ass game on everyone. You know what I'm saying? To the T. You got the bitch who's supposedly uh, trying to impeach this motherfucker. They all in the same room with kudos and all this other shit. I wouldn't even say kudos. But it's just a... <clears throat> it's just an unseen communication. Like when the bitch ripped up the paper. When I seen she ripped up the paper, I said they finna talk about the paper. They gonna, they gonna make a big... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bitch ripped up a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look at it as a regular piece of paper, but it was uh, a esoteric message. It was, a, 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 you know what I'm saying, just, it was a way of saying some shit. Like I said, I like neither party. I like none of that shit they got going on. But it was on my fucking TV, so I happened to see it. And they just still with the bullshit. It's like it's like little kids in kindergarten playing, uh, uh, playing grown-ups. You know what I mean? And just believe that everybody involved, so-called, went to college, had a college education and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Down to the people who interviewing them, down to the news, news people. Like, if y'all sit there and watch this shit, you be like, damn, you went to what college? And you doing this for a living? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it ain't what you do is how you do it. So... Motherfucker sitting up there preaching bullshit, but you talking about you went to Howard University, like, or uh, uh, you went to Yale, or that shit don't show, or at least, it, you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing we're gonna get into this motherfucking goddamn, but we're gonna talk about these goddamn whole historical black colleges, you know what I'm saying, and the image they portray. But yeah, tomorrow I'm definitely um gonna get on that part. You know what I'm saying? Why motherfuckers can't let Africa go? You know what I'm saying? And why it's so fucked up in your goddamn psyche that why you can't let it go? You know what I mean? But that goddamn it. 
that mental health shit, to me, that shit is some fake, phony-ass shit that got everybody, you know what I'm saying, thinking the wrong way. But that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? But if you agree with me, shit, like the button, hit the like button, all that good shit, subscribe, or whatever, whatever. Let's get these subscribers up. Because I've been feeling like motherfuckers need to be looking at these videos. At least get some kind of inspiration, spark, or whatever the fuck you get up out of my videos. But yeah, let's get these viewers up, man. I want to do some live videos and shit. So, it's either that. Go ahead and get me a computer. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Which I've been trying to do. Or I just go, you know what I'm saying? I got to get a thousand subscribers. So, with that being said, we'll just work diligent at it. That's the goal. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. So, like, share, comment, whatever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? And I got a crazy ass response time. So, but anyway, I'm just rambling now. But like I said, it's John Horse, man. Hardwire, Grand Rising, Grand Night to everyone. Y'all just. <laughs> Stay aware, man. Stay aware. Pay attention. Stay aware. Slow down. Think.